Hello and welcome to today's snapshot. Today we're going to be taking a look at the euro US dollar. It's rallying in weakness. We're going to see how to trade it, but before we do that, please take note of the following important information. Please know that CFDs are high risk, high risk products and that you should be completely aware of the risks that they pose. Please also be aware that this is a general market commentary only. It does not constitute investment advice. And finally, these are our sources of information. Now, taking a look here, we have the daily chart on the left. We have the hourly chart on the right. You can see that the euro is having a terrific run at the moment. Um, what we want to be cognizant of is that the daily chart is still quite weak. Still quite weak. So it's in our bearish area, which is the lower blue, lower red. It's on the border. So we just want to keep an eye on that. And the stochastic is um, in the lower quintile. So as long as it stays in that lower quintile, on the longer term time frame, there is, there is weakness. Now we can see that there's um, a huge rally on the hourly in a weak daily. So we just want to be very careful about the strength that the euro US dollar is showing currently. So we're just taking a look at this R2 pivot to see if it acts as resistance. One way to confirm if this is going to be a key reaction level is just to take a look at our triggers. So if we see the EMAs turn bearish and if we see the stochastic turn bearish, well, then we may start seeing the um, sellers actually targeting this rally. The other way to keep an eye on it is uh, just if the stochastic hangs around in the upper quintile, well, then uh, there is certainly an underlying bullish push at the moment. So we just want to be very cognizant of the triggers before we do any um, anything with this pair. Let's just end off with some key takeaways. All right, so the euro US dollar is in the daily bearish area. It has rallied into pivot resistance on the hourly. And we are looking to see if the triggers are going to be pulled to the downside. All right, I hope that you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And I look forward to speaking with you again in the near future.